when you grow older, you become more rigid. You experience a lot of things that make you more reluctant, make you less courageous, make you less of a doer because of the bad experiences that traumatized you. So it's important to remember that when you are getting older, you know, like I'm not talking about how you look, I'm talking about age. With every year you live, you experience good and bad. But the brain likes to remember the bad. The brain likes to remember the bad in order to protect you. That is the ego. The ego likes to protect. And so when you find yourself kind of talking yourself out of experiencing new things based on past experiences, you have to challenge the ego you have to be like well hold on a second that's not necessarily going to happen just because it didn't just because I have this notion this idea this uh, memory of a past bad experience doesn't mean that next time I go I'm going to do something that it has a similar experience is going to result the same way because if you for example if you are an overthinker which is like something I am you know and it has pros and cons but you have to know how to control it if you are an overthinker or if you are a loner or if you enjoy your solitude to the extent where you become so isolated that you prevent yourself from experiencing any company. If you have those things, have those traits, listen up. Next time, something comes up, a plan, an invite, um, an experience, say yes. Now, I'm not telling you to accept everything. I'm not telling you to set boundaries when something bad is happening, but it's important to put yourself out there. It's important to say, you know what, I'm going to do it. And I'm not talking about, you know, if you are an introvert like myself, you have to become an extrovert. I'm not telling you to change who you are. I'm telling you, when you want to do something, but then your overthinking prevents you from doing it, or creates this anxiety, creates this scenario, you know, worst case scenario, <laughs> Overthinkers, you know what I'm talking about? When you create those worst case scenarios and you actually prevent yourself from experiencing something you want to experience, then you're not in control of yourself. The ego is in control of you. And this is the moment when you have to challenge the ego. Say to yourself, hold on a second, just because I experienced, the, I experienced this badly before does not mean that I'm going to experience it again and if something bad happens you know shrug shrug your shoulders and you're like nothing's gonna happen you know yeah I might not enjoy the company that I have I might not you know it might not reach my expectations so what that's okay at least I tried at least I experienced it at least I put myself out there Okay, so for those that worry most of the time about things not working out the way they expect it to work out, there is, it's like, there is, you have to kind of put yourself in the position where you tell yourself, there is nothing to worry about. If you have a good experience, then it's a good experience. And if it's not a good experience, then you know it wasn't a good experience and you move on with your fucking life. But if you prevent yourself from experiencing things and then you don't get to experience it because of your worry and anxiety and overthinking, then you lose out, you become rigid, you become old. And this is what we notice in young people. Young people will be quick to say yes secret to youth 
if you want to stay young, experience more. You know, when people talk about how, you know, um, when you are a child, you did this careless, you know, you, you did things carefree. Keep that. That's what keeps you young. That's what keeps you alive. Keep it moving. The less you do, the less you want to do, the older you get. Keep experiencing. And if your mind is telling you it's going to be a bad experience, no, 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 just say no, don't go. Um, you know, they will ruin it anyway, or they are not good anyway, or whatever. You limit your experiences. So next time your brain tries to take control of your actions, because it will try that in its defense for your own protection. But you have to be the master of your brain. You have to be the one that says, hold on, you know, thank you for uh, your input, but I will do it anyway. And, you know, there's no need to worry. Worst case scenarios, worst case scenario, I don't get to enjoy it. I don't get to, um, you know, um, have the, the most joy and fun out of it. But hey, I'm going to try anyway. I'm not going to limit myself based on something that didn't happen yet. The best way to live peacefully is to prevent unnecessary worry. Okay? So unnecessary worry is hugely by things that didn't happen yet. Wait for you, like, wait for something to happen in order to worry about. There's no need to worry about something that didn't happen. And trust me, I say this out of experience because I worry a lot and I overthink. And when I find myself in those um, moments, I breathe and I, I kind of like reestablish control. I'm like, okay, you know what? We're not going to worry about something that didn't happen yet. You know what? Just because I think that might happen, it's not necessarily going to happen. And guess what, you guys? For those that are powerful manifestors, be careful of your overthinking process because you manifest the bad as, as much as the good. So for those that are powerful manifestors, <laughs> this is very important for you because you will end up manifesting bad situations in your life and you wonder, why is this happening to me? Because you are a powerful manifester, but you don't have a grip on it. Alrighty? I hope this, uh, this helps someone because I feel like there's this energy kind of overlapping on mine and I want to get it out there. Best of luck.